We have some massive news. A hey, lot of blessings pounding out that I ain't even wished for. Yeah, no, yeah, let the wolf for y'all. I'm locking the fridge door yeah, and the crib cutting hits. I read through the catalog, came the conclusion. No one's touching this. Just finished the main voyage. I've been on the main grind. Set up shop to kill them all. Whatever the thing. I seen the boats. I'm at home. I'm selfish with the goals. I could give a fuck who try and get along. 6'3, you can't look me in the eyes. Welcome the incomparable Pat McAfee. But as soon as we get backstage, I see Serena Williams like six feet from me. And I'm like, oh my God. Hello, hello, hello. You look fantastic. Massive room. Did not expect to see this many incredibly important humans to the media world. And then all of a sudden, guess who pops by? Ryan Seacrest. Good to see you, bro. Ryan Seacrest, how are you? Hey, Congratulations. Legend, bro. And holy shit, Ryan Seacrest is here. Honestly, you. your work I think is something that people Thank you. like me like, really inspired you. Why am I here? Great question. Sweet cowboy hat. How you doing, dude? Makes me look thinner. The Kardashians? Bullshit. Come out of the elevator. Hey, good luck out there. Thank you. My show, my guys and I will be joining the ESPN universe. And we are so incredibly pumped, honored, and thankful to be doing that. And a lot of people are wondering, you know, why would you ever want to do that when you run a couple hundred million dollar valued company with full independence and the ability to kind of do whatever I want, whenever I want with my crew that is one of the hardest working group of men on this earth. And it's because I had the incredible opportunity over the last two months to chit chat with the leadership at ESPN. I go up to a lounge, Alex Honnold, you know, the guy that was climbing? Yeah, yeah. I'm like, holy fuck, that's that guy who just hangs off the side of cliffs mm -hmm. or whatever. <laughs> and I think the future of sports media is certainly something that we're kind of creeping in on. Digital has become an influence. It has the structure. It has the ability to reach millions and millions of people. Dan Orlovsky, after his riveting performance uh, <laughs> on the stage, which it was. Gets a Shirley Temple. He comes, no, he got wine. Okay. Oh, wow. The future obviously says that linear television is going to be dead. ESPN, the channel, won't be able to exist. But when is that? Is that a year from now? 10 years from now? 20 years from now? Can we get a 25, maybe 30? 35, 40? By that time, I'm 65, 70 years old, and I've completely missed out on the powerhouse that is ESPN Linear. So when I was talking to Jimmy and Burke Magnus and the Bob father, Bob Iger, somehow got a chance to be in his office for an hour and a half in Burbank. That was bananas. He's now talking, I think, to the leader of France. Dumbest life of all time continues. But they all very much understood that we need to embrace both what tomorrow is and what today is. And I have the exact same vision. Then Joe Buck, Troy Aikman come walking in. I'm very thankful to announce that we'll be on ESPN, ESPN Plus, the ESPN app. And for the first time, I do believe in all of sports media, we'll be live on ESPN's YouTube at the exact same time. Jimmy, Burke, Bob understood that 98% of male Gen Zers use YouTube on a daily basis. So being live there and on ESPN, we should be able to reach the entire world, hopefully, if I don't fuck it up, which I might have just did by saying the F word in this room right here. You so. met the real DeMar Hamlin, okay. not Michael B. Jordan. Are you sure? Not the actor, yeah. not the clone. How's he up know, front? He is in Disney the, movies. The clones look exactly the same as real people. That's yeah. the actual clone type. It is an incredibly special time for me. This is my first time out of my house in two weeks. My wife and I actually, boom first baby. She just started farting two days ago. Real deal. That was a game changer. But my wife, my baby, my guys, and everybody that I know are honored to be a part of the ESPN family. And we hope that we'll be able to work with all of you. Cheers and have an incredible day. Good, man. How you doing? You good? Don't keep running the world, though. Hey, no, that's you, dude. That's you. That's you. Trip to New York, I think, was a success. The upfront was hilarious. I had no idea that room was going to be that big. This is awesome, isn't it? That was the most suits I've ever seen in my entire life. We're pumped to join the family, and I am very grateful that they're going to let us do it our way. And I said, fuck it, at Disney upfront. So. This would be a pretty legendary thing later in life. You can probably look at it and say, oh, that was a pretty good decision. All right, the next chapter begins.
Ain't that right, Nikki? Hell yeah.